waypoints. So, gone for the usual thing, turn the controller on, turn the machine on, just setting up my settings on my Nexus. Welcome to your aircraft. Please complete the aircraft status before taking off. Enter camera view. Right, firmware vision is the latest. I don't need to calibrate because I'm in the same area. So, come out of that. Right, aircraft warming up. So while it's warming up, I'm first going to go into the menu. And, right, maximum altitude, 120, that's good. I'm then going to go into advanced settings. Right, enable multi multiple flight mode it's already on there thankfully so bring it over so it grows green right come out of that now still warm message up. coming up on the screen safe to fly gps <clears throat> i've got eight satellites now before i went out oh you went onto the uav weather channel now i advise it's a good idea to check this channel because it does give you um a fair idea how many satellites could be in the area. Now please, please remember this is not the advanced or the professional where they got the GLONASS which has probably got you got W amount so they've probably got like 21 satellites well the standards just got the basic GPS signal but even though we're doing the waypoints we still got to take the machine off first so what I always do well what I not always do I've been doing lately I'm just gonna do the automatic takeoff so we just move the slider over so it goes, it's yellow to green. So it goes up to a height of about four foot. Okay, now it's there now. Now we flick the switch. Right, we're going to choose waypoints. Right, the waypoint mode. So uh, start recording points. So now we just go off and fly where we want to do it. So let's take it up a bit. So I'm going to go around now doing recording the points. So what you do, you stop at the place you want to do, you press record. So now I just go around recording each spot I stop at so I'm just gonna if you don't want that position that you can delete it right once we've um, done all our waypoints I've got six on here you just press done and then you get up the waypoint you, you can tell when the mission's finished you can either have it continue on with the recording or hover when it when it's finished and you can keep the speed however you want it to go press the start button and then obviously it'll ask you to return to home altitude. I've got mine at 120 still. So I'll press done, apply for the return altitude. Right, off it goes. Exit this mode. All right. Um, and as always, it confirm it. I mean, what I usually do usually is just right low battery. So I've got to change batteries, so and anyway, I confirm that to get rid of the intelligent navigation mode. Just flick up the switch.